a good afternoon to everyone who is with us right now my name is tony areo aka mr toa and uh today i have a very special guest in the entertainment business she'll introduce herself and uh we shall start catching up from there you're most welcome thank you so much mm. so uh you introduce yourself and uh you tell us a few things about you um uh before speaking anything i would like to say thank you so much mr Tua, for giving me this opportunity that is to say the interview promotions uh i'm by the names of lanyero masasempa aka mc Masi. yeah i'm a mother of one kid that's what most of the people know and some people don't know but i want them to know that yeah uh, i love music i love dancing uh, I love adventure. Everything about music is me. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, tell us, uh, what do you do in the music or in the entertainment business? What exactly do you do? Um, I hype, mm. most especially in bars, mm. pool parties, mm. house parties, birthday parties, baby showers, etc. A lot. Mm. Yeah. So, you're an MC? Yes. Mm. Mm. MC Massey in the house. Yeah. Okay, you hype us a little bit. One, hype your fans, Matic are following. Could you get Oh, uh, how should I hype them? Like, <laughs> what vibe can I give them? Yeah, you give them vibe. Okay, show us what you've got. Okay, i show you what I've got. Can mm. I, you know, I can sing, right? Can okay. I give them some of the song? It's okay. It's okay. You know, me, Sitia. You know, me, Sitia, danger. That's what I can give you. <laughs> so when did you start MCing? Um, I started MCing from the UB College. That was 2020, the lockdown. Mm. The full side is where I started from. Mm. Then when I left there, I started receiving calls from bars. One of the bars was Jimmy's Bar. Mm. Changer, that is, I forgot its name. But mm. that was the first bar for me to hide. Mm. Then I got connections with Great Steve and Spraga Promotions. Mm. From Spraga Promotions, I started getting a lot of shows in districts. Kid Goom is one of them. Mm. OB, um, a lot. Lira, I've, I've been into a lot of places now. Mm. Yeah. So uh, how do you feel uh, when you're doing your hype? How does it make you feel? I feel so amazing mm. because I've got the energy. You've got the vibe. Yeah, I've got the vibe. Okay, uh, what are the positive sides of MCing that you've seen ever since you started uh, doing it? The positive side, hmm. I would not like to say much, hmm. but you know, the money making is good. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the fan base building is also good. Hmm. That's the positive thing. That come with it. Yes. So currently, uh, where do you do your hype from? Uh, currently, I'm doing my hype from Password Launch. Mm. That is every Monday. We call it a request Monday. That's mm. where you always find me every Monday. Then mm. every Sunday, I'm at Bapa Hotel. Mm. And to other days, I'm in other districts and cities doing the hype. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that is nice. So, are there some challenges you've got as uh, you started building up this brand? Yep. Mm. I've got a lot of challenges whereby somebody calls you and he or she wants to give you a gig but then you find out that the money the person is saying is, is little mm. but then instead of them getting you to sit down and you talk about all these things mm. they go on listening from other people where they had us come out with sayings like you know that girl is still young she can't handle her thing mm. it's not all about being young it's all about the energy and the type of vibe you're giving and the type of crowd you're dealing with mm. yeah that's most of the challenge that i always get apart from that any other challenges that come in with the business yeah another challenge is teamwork is low mm. yeah people like people are not working in together support mm. from like maybe other MCs, mm. artists, all those things, event organizers, you get. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, what advice would you give, like, to your colleagues out there 
on what has to be done to better the 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 the, the, the MCing business. Can you repeat that question? Okay, I'm saying, uh, what advice do you have mm. uh, for your colleagues out there yes. on what has to be done to make the business very okay? Yeah, I've got a lot of advice, but I'll pick the touching ones. Mm. One advice that I can give is that these, the ones who claim that they're legends and mm. the ones who claim that they're already big in the industry, mm. this is the right time since the young people are coming up. Mm. This is the right time you can pick one of the young people, you start promotion, and we do the business together. I call it all has, I term it as one into teamwork. Mm. Yeah. The legend should 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 also uh, work with you guys. Yes. Mm. So not only the legends, mm. like according to my department, the DJs should work with us. The mm. artists should also work with us. They should not only focus on 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 what they are doing, but they should also see that the young people are also coming up because it's like we are not working for ourselves, but this is for the best of our region mm. and for our city. Okay. Yes. So. Uh, what are some of the things uh, that are so disgusting with this uh, MCing business? What are some of the things that you feel uh, should be adjusted that make work not so good for you? One of the things that make work not so good to me mm. is that you're given work to do, mm. but then you find out that the negative vibes go on Mm. Them, like maybe the horn of the bar or the event organizer mm. like they are demotivating us when they go out speaking so when we get those words we feel so demotivated like mm. for example like saying you know that that girl is still a young girl she can't do big events you get that mm. yeah so you feel it's not about being young yeah it's, it's not about all, giving it's, it's the about right the vibe energy, the vibe and the crowd you're dealing with mm. and the audibility and the perfect the being perfect you get mm. yeah so apart from emceeing what other thing do you do other than being a hype uh, MC? other than being a hype MC, um, i can't say i've done much but i also do weddings but since i started since it's still you know everything goes on process by process mm. yeah I've, I've still done only one wedding but if anybody else I, they are willing to help me, mm. like to promote me, I can also sing. That's one thing I can say. Mm. Yeah. And uh, where can your fans access you, like if they want your services? Where can my fans access me? If they want mm. my your services? social platforms. And okay, on Instagram, you can get me as MC Massey Four Seven. Mm. Then on Facebook, I'm using Brad Galting. Mm. Then, of course, my WhatsApp number to those who have. Then maybe for business, you can call me on zero seven six one nine seven ten fifteen, or you can call me on zero seven six one zero seven zero seven five one nine one. Then zero seven eleven eleven mm. for business. So, uh, where do you look at yourself in the next five years? Oh my God! <laughs> you can say that again. Um, I can't say, but. You know, it's we who come with the things we want to do, but then God is the one to decide. Mm. So I've placed everything into God's hand. He is always my lead. I can't, I can't say where I'm going to be because mm. you can't predict the future. Mm. Yeah. Uh, another thing, uh, are you in a relationship, married? <laughs> I'm not married. You're single. Yeah, I'm single. Are you searching or not? I'm not searching because <laughs> I have somebody mm. already who has taken away my mind, my feelings, everything. Mm. I don't want to hear him. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Otherwise, uh, it has really been so nice catching up with you. Thank you. MC Masi. Yes. Uh, we wish a lot of good things for you. You too. Mm. Mm. Many blessings, peace and love. Thanks you for coming through. Thank you so much.